Hey, what's up guys? This is Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. In this video, I'm gonna show you the design process behind a social media quote post that I did for the London House down in Grand Cayman. So this is gonna be kind of a tropical post with a quote right in the center. I didn't do any sketching for this one because I didn't feel like I needed to. I felt like it was a fluid enough process in Photoshop dealing with the composition of the quote and the name of the person. There wasn't a whole lot to it. So I'm gonna show you the entire process from start to finish. It took about 20 to 25 minutes in total. We're gonna start right now. To begin with, I needed some type of a photo, so I scoured our database of tropical photos of the London house and decided on this one here because I felt like it fit the space pretty well and it was fairly bright and colorful. So I cropped it to a square and then I put text on top of it. From there I added a curves layer to adjust the photo down so that we could read the white text a little bit better, so I brought down some of the exposure of the photo. I then went on a little journey of trying to find a font that would fit well. I was looking for something fairly bold or something fairly thin. Either way, I didn't want to land in the middle. I wanted to make it look very intentional. I decided to indicate the quote with a single quotation up top. I'm sure some of you have seen posts like this before. There's different ways that you can indicate whether something's a quote or not, and this is the one I chose for this instance. Now I'm trying to fit the letters in here, so I'm tracking them a little bit, and then I'm adding in the person's name who spoke the quote at the bottom who sent it in. Then I'm just trying to tweak things to make the whole entire quote more legible, whether that's bringing the size of the quote mark down or tweaking the letters so that their placement is different. I wanted to explore some different compositions with the letters, whether that was adjusting the hierarchy, making some words stand out more than others, and just trying to figure out if there's any other way that this quote looks good other than everything being the same font size. I ended up just returning back to the normal style quote. I liked how it looked the best and how the words fit together. And this really was determined by the actual words that I had and the length of the words and the shortness of the quote. I decided to scale it up a little bit and then I'm really working on trying to get that name to pop. I didn't like it where it was sitting so I took it all the way to the bottom where I felt like there was some darker area and I liked the name sitting down there a lot better. That allowed me to center up the quote in the middle of the image and I really felt like this was the final resting place for all of the elements. From here it's just a matter of tweaking some things with the image, the quote, some of the drop shadow, just to make sure that the positioning is correct, the scale is correct, and also to make sure that it's legible. Well that's it, I'm gonna pull it up for you guys in context right here in three, two, one, shazam! Okay, so here it is. What I like about this post is it's bold, right? It's attention getting, it definitely stands out on the feed, but what I don't like is that it feels a little bit placed. I'm not sure if it's the font. Maybe the font is too wide of a font. Um, I think that maybe it could be a little bit more narrow or like a condensed version. And maybe there's something we can add, like an element, uh, maybe a frame or something we could have added to it to make it feel a little bit more intentional overall and less placed. But it definitely served its purpose. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I hope this helped you as far as design process goes. Okay, so yeah, I mean, I hope these design process videos help you in general and that they help show you my process, which in turn maybe will help you with your process and your design choices and decisions when you're designing anything, whether it's a social media post, a brochure, or any other sort of digital print web, motion, any kind of piece. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more tips, tutorials, check out the whole channel if you're new around here. Oh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.